Really quickly, I just want to say that this is my first time using a camera with a flip out screen and I'm still getting used to remembering to look at the lens and not the screen, so if I look at the wrong spot some of the time, I apologize. Also, when I watched this, I realized I kept bumping the clothes behind me and making them rock back and forth. Okay, thank you. Instagram started in 2010 as a place to post photos. In 2013, users were able to post videos. Since then, Instagram TV and Instagram Reels were created, and it seems like Instagram just doesn't care a lot about photos anymore. Is there another website that does focus on people who want to post photos? If you know a lot about Adobe, then you know that there are about 3,000 different Adobe products, and one of them is Behance, which is apparently the world's largest creative network for showcasing and discovering creative work. It's free to use, you just need an Adobe account, which is free to make. You can post way more than photography, but one of the categories that you can look at is photography. If you click on a picture, you can save it to your mood board or you can give it a thumbs up, which Behance calls appreciating it, which I have to admit sounds more sophisticated. You can also leave a comment or follow the creator. You can also see how many views a picture has. But can this replace Instagram? I'm not talking about if you use Instagram for fun or to interact with people that you know or to create a kind of virtual scrapbook because if that's how you use Instagram, then you're probably not looking for a replacement right now because you absolutely can still keep doing those things on Instagram. But if you used Instagram as a kind of portfolio, if you're a photographer or even a model, then you might feel like you want to try a different website right now. The first thing I would say is that Behance is kind of like Instagram in a lot of ways. You can post photos and videos, you can live stream, and you can even post what it calls a work in progress, which is a post that expires in 24 hours like an Instagram story would. In your profile, you can add your work experience and whether or not you're looking for job opportunities, which I think is pretty cool. So if you're a professional photographer or graphic designer or would like to become a professional photographer or graphic designer, I actually think Behance would probably be pretty helpful for you. I don't know anything about the best way to use tags or titles or if there even is a best way. But I know that different websites have different algorithms and there are different tips that you can use to help more people see your posts and there are probably tips for Behance too. If you're a model though, Behance wouldn't be helpful because what you post are supposed to be things that you made, not things that you modeled in. If you're a photographer or a model, please leave a comment and tell me if you use Behance, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, Facebook, Glass, Viewbug, Flickr, Tumblr, some other social media, or just your own website. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope your day has been and will continue to be as wonderful as you are. Stay amazing. Bye.